Hi, my name is Sean Mulligan. I'm the organizer of the 2011 Havasu Pocket Cruisers Convention. Last year, February 2010, we attracted over 70 boats to Lake Havasu City, Arizona from nine different states. The boats and crews participated in four days of sailing, fun, friendships, seminars, and just had an all-around good time. This coming February, we want to grow the size of the event. We're looking to go to 100 boats from all across the country. Probably the best way for me to show you what this event is all about is to show you some scenes from the boats and crews last year. So sit back, relax, and enjoy, and let's take a look at some scenes of the 2010 Havasu Pocket Cruisers Convention and plan on joining us next year. The event is based out of the London Bridge Resort and Convention Center, right on the water at the base of the world famous London Bridge. And yes, if your mass is lower than 34 feet above the water, you can sail under it. You think I've been asked that a time or two? The event's not club specific nor boat specific. Everyone's welcome to participate. As for the boats, well, last year we had West White Potters, Montgomery's, Sanibel's, Compacts, Capri's, Catalina's, Balboa's, McGregor's, a Santana, an Ensenada, a Guppy, a Sanderling, and even a Drascom. Any trailable sailboats invited to attend. February in Lake Havasu is a trailer sailor's dream. While the rest of the country is struggling through winter, we're enjoying the greatest weather the Southwest has to offer. Temps vary from the mid-50s to mid-80s, and breezes vary from flat calm to 25 knots. During the four days of the 2010 event, we had a few periods of very light wind, but the majority of the event was sailed in beautiful breezes ranging from 7 to 15 knots. Occasionally, Lake Havasu is actually a reservoir lake on the Colorado River system and it forms a border between Arizona and California. The saleable portion of the lake is roughly 17 miles long and it starts at the city of Lake Havasu and ends at Parker Dam, the deepest dam in the world. In between are a myriad of coves, campsites, state parks, and a couple of tiny communities all just waiting for you to come and explore them. Can you guess where these guys are from? Every skill level of sailor is represented. You're looking at Jerry Montgomery himself flying a shoot with Stan Sussman of Interlux and Gary Overbeck on Gary's boat LBGF. In contrast, we had another boat arrive that had never been sailed or rigged by its crew before. Lots of helping hands assisted the new crew in getting their boat rigged and on the water. Everyone has a great time together. The daily itinerary is completely at your whim. Attend whatever portions of the event fit your taste. Of course, when the wind comes up, most everyone goes sailing. Along with all the sailing and on-the-water events, the afternoons and evenings featured some awesome seminars in the hotel's convention center, which became Pocket Cruiser headquarters for the week. Presentations included Harry Pattison of Elliott Pattison Sales out of Newport Beach, Stan Sussman of Interlux All Grip, and a Celestial Navigation Seminar put on by Jonathan Olenek. Participants also enjoy group dinners, evening skits, the infamous North vs. South grudge match for the perpetual trophy, and a showing of the sailing movie Morning Light, and a Valentine's Day evening cruise on the Dixie Bell paddle wheeler. You get some more wind as soon as you get around the point there.
That brings up another topic, the admirals. We strongly encourage the guys to bring the gals along. You'll notice that more than a few of the boats were sailed by couples. This is the perfect event for it. With the boat docked right at the London Bridge Resort and just steps from your room, she has the option to sail if she wants or enjoy resort life and explore the town of Lake Havasu. And she won't be the only gal. No porta pots, cramped sleeping quarters, or cooking on the camp stove on this trip, unless that's what you like. In which case, Lake Havasu offers many quiet coves where you can drop the hook for the night. As a show of appreciation to the gals, we chartered the paddle wheeler Dixie Bell for an hour long sunset cruise on Valentine's Day, followed by a nice semi formal dinner in the resort's restaurant Martini Bay, overlooking the bridge. Of course, the cruise and dinner is totally optional. We had a pretty good crowd riding the Dixie Bell last year, and everyone had a great time. Community support for the event has been great. On arrival day, the Lake Havasu Hospitality Association had greeters meet every boat as they arrived at the London Bridge Resort docks to help assist with any needs and provide a warm Havasu welcome. At the opening ceremonies, community leaders mingled with participants and expressed the community's excitement to the sailors. And of course, there was the boat show and shine. Participants dressed up their boats for a public display. Glossy gel coat and shiny stainless were everywhere. Lots of boats were dressed in signal flags and pennants, and everyone was encouraged to fly their respective state flag. Then, the dock gates were opened, and the public allowed to mingle with the sailors and take it all in. Pizza and drinks were available dockside, and the morning was spent talking and looking at boats and forming new friendships. The boat show was one of the highlights of the event. The Jeff. We've been able to attract some great sponsors for the event. In one way or another, each sponsor has provided support to help fund it, either through monetary support, giveaway prizes, or by conducting seminars. The event wouldn't be the same without them, and we hope that trend of industry support will increase. With the growing size of the event, the costs associated with running it are mounting, and the continued support from the trailer sailor community and the marine industry will be a necessity. The 2011 event is being planned to accommodate more boats and to extend the duration of the event to seven days. Details are still in the works and will be made available soon. Three and a half years ago, the Havasu Pocket Cruisers formed as nothing more than a gathering of friends with a common interest in sailing. It's come a long way since then, but it still remains nothing more than that, a gathering of friends. I can tell you that should you attend, you'll be privileged to meet one of the finest, most diverse group of people that you could ever imagine. If you come with an open mind, you're bound to learn something from one of them, and you're bound to teach someone something too. The non-competitive atmosphere of this event means that there's something for everybody. Sure, we may have a fun race, but the emphasis is on fun. I hope that you'll consider joining us February 2011 for the 4th Annual Havasu Pocket Cruisers Convention. Attending might just be a decision that could change your life. I know it's changed mine. Updates for the 2011 event will appear soon on the HavasuMontgomery's.pixo.com website. I'm Sean Mulligan. I hope you enjoyed this video. Join us for a week you'll never forget. 100 plus boats. Help us fulfill the dream.